Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm on my couch. I don't think I've ever filmed here before. Mm, with my camera. I've definitely filmed here before with my phone. Doesn't matter. Uh, so I just got back from Japan. Crazy. It was the most amazing trip. If you're new, by the way, my name is Alex, just saying. It was incredible. I was gone for nine days and I can't wait to go back. I was sad to leave. Like truly, it was incredible. The food, the food. So I wanted to show you all of the things that I got while I was there, which include clothing, which is why I'm in pajamas. So I guess I'll just start off with what I'm wearing. <laughs> uh, we'll get right into it. When we were, so basically our trip, we started off in um, Kamakura, Kamakura, Kamakura. And then we went to a friend's wedding in Hayama. And then after that, we went to Kyoto, did Osaka for a couple days, and then finished in Tokyo. So when we were in Osaka, we stayed at the Ritz. Um, we're not fancy. My boyfriend travels a lot for work. He had points with uh, Marriott. Apparently Ritz is affiliated with the Marriott. So he used his points to get us like a nice room and everything. Anyway, we stayed at the Ritz and the pajamas, every hotel we went to. I don't know why I packed pajamas. They all provided dope pajamas. I fell in love with the ones at the Ritz. I bought them when I was there. <laughs> so I just figured I would throw them in because um, they're specific to the Ritz in Osaka. So they're kind of like kimono style, I guess you could say. Uh, super comfy, just like really lightweight, you know, pajamas, hotel pajamas. Like, are you kidding me? Can you go wrong? While we were there, I noticed like every single time we walked into the hotel, it smelled so amazing. So I picked up their like signature scent. Uh, they had like a little like, um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a little gift shop type thing downstairs. Their signature scent is called Mystique Signature Scent Spray. Uh, I got the, they had like um, diffusers and stuff, but I decided to get the mist. And one of the reasons that I picked these things up was because I was looking on the Ritz website. If you're in Japan, then yes, you can buy things from the Ritz Osaka, uh, like the pajamas and the spray and all that stuff and have it shipped to you, but they do not ship to the US. And the scents and also the pajamas are different. Oh, JK, actually the Ritz in the US, they don't even sell pajamas, rude. So I was like, so I was actually like there and I was looking on the website because I was like, oh, I'll just whatever, have it like I'll order it or something. Um, no, couldn't do that. So I had to pick them up there. The scent, I don't even know. I don't know how to describe it. Hmm. What is that dude? It's like clean with a tiny bit of like a warmth, like warm musk to it. It's so, it like literally smells like home. Like every time we walked in, I was like, I need, I need this. Like I so hope to God that they, they sell it because I need it in my life and it, they do. So I only bought this little bottle, which is gonna have to last me until our next trip to Japan. God, it's so good. It's so good. So I had to pick, I had to pick those things up. On to the fun stuff. So I picked up a fair amount of clothing, which is all over here. So number one is this cropped uh, white button down that I picked up. Uh, this is actually the, this is number two of uh, two <laughs> cropped button downs, white button downs that I picked up. This is from the brand called Ingini, 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 I-N-G-N-I. -I. I don't think I have the yen on here anymore, like how much it costs. I got the size medium. Oh, it was um, 3,300 3, yen. I just loved the collar. Like I loved how intense the collar is. It's like a gigantic collar and also the crop. They had the best crops there. Like everything is cropped. Everything is like fitted without being too tight. Uh, it all like really complements your figure, like it skims. And that, that was one thing that I really wanted to find. So I was fine with like buying two of them because I really, really wanted the, there's a cat laying in my clean clothes. <laughs> I really, really wanted a nice cropped button down, like so badly. Cause for whatever reason in the US, I can never find one that is actually cropped enough for me. I've mentioned this before, I'm 5'2", I'm real short. So cropped things usually fit me like a regular person. <laughs> these are not in order, by the way, just in order of how I tried them on to show you. Next up were these pants that I got from, was this from Chico? I actually can't remember. I think so. Yeah, these are from a brand called Chico. Uh, you can't really see them in this lighting. They're super duper lightweight. They're kind of like a nylon um, feel. The way they fit is amazing. They have a stretchy waistband with no buttons. They just have like the hook, the little like hook 
closure thing with, uh, and zippers. And then they have pockets, regular pockets, and then um, like cargo pockets with these like cool dangly things hanging off of them. They're super lightweight and comfortable. Like their trouser game out there is so dope. Like it's so on point. So these are kind of like cargo trousers, I guess. They're, they remind me of Gabby. Gabby wears shit like this all the time and I love them so much. So I had to get this pair. I tried on white and white wasn't happening for me. But black, I could fuck with. And there are some of the, like, I think the this and that white button down are probably my favorite things that I picked up. And I have no idea how much those are because I took the tag off because I bought, I wore them the other day. <laughs> um, but everything I personally found was very like reasonable, reasonably priced. This is from also from the brand Chico. This is even more cropped. So this came as a set, uh, less of an intense collar, but still got, you know, a nice collar. Um, same kind of like situation with the arms, but the, the, it's actually like a three quarter sleeve. I like it. It's a raw cut at the bottom. It is, um, it is hemmed a little bit, but the cut at the bottom is nice and raw. Um, which I just think makes it look like edgy as fuck, which I think is super cool. Again, I was, this is what I was looking for when I was out there. So glad that I have two. This one's even shorter and it came with this like tank. I did not care about <laughs> this tank top. Like this is just not my vibe at all, this kind of like tank. It just doesn't look good on me. But the whole point is that it's a little bit longer. So these stripes kind of like stick out, which is kind of a cool um, little accent. Um, and since it's super long, like I'll probably mix it up and wear like a bunch of different kinds of like cropped tanks and stuff underneath. Um, but yeah, so it came with this little, this little tank. Um, Chico, Chico. There's a little thing that they ripped off. So I have no idea how much this was. But once again, I personally found that it was relatively reasonably priced. We have another pair of lightweight cargo pants, once again from Ingenie, Ingenie. Super lightweight, so once again, stretchy waist. They've got all these like, um, these things, whatever these things are called, so that you can like tighten, tighten. Once again, regular pockets, pockets in the back, and then cargo like side pant pockets. And you can also tighten the bottom if you want to, but like I just tied these up cause I don't, I don't really like it when it's cinched. I like it when it's like a little bit wider. So yeah, I also picked these up because I, once again, I just wanted to buy like some, I wanted to get some pants out there. Um, pants buying in Japan is a little stressful. Uh, they often only had, at least the places I went, they often only had two sizes, sometimes only one size. <laughs> Um, which brings me to the je the only pair of jeans that I got. I was determined to find a pair of jeans that I could actually buy because everyone's jeans were sick. I loved them. So these are from, what brand are these from? I actually don't remember, shit. Oh, these are also from Ingenie, Ingenie. Um, they're a little high-waisted for my liking. Like I'm a very short person, I have a short waist, so yeah, these are the, these are the medium size. Um, and I'll be on, they're raw denim. And I'll be honest, I had a little bit of a hard time getting them up over my ass, uh, which was a theme when I was out there with, uh, with denim, but I just love them so much. And like, I was able to make it work. So I looked up how to stretch out non-stretch denim and I'm gonna do it. Just saying. So I think like, I think we'll be fine. But they have these like awesome cuts, like right, this one's like right above the knee, this one's right at the knee. And then they're um, nice and like wide at the bottom. Like I just absolutely love them. And the, the fabric, like the denim is so comfy feeling. Like I love it. You know me, I don't really fuck with non-stretch denim, but I fell in love with these and I think that they look really nice. Um, so yeah, the wider cut is just like really nice and I like the color and everything. So I had to get one pair of jeans. I had to make it work, okay? I had to make it work somehow. Once again, from Ingini. The next top is from the brand. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's mousy or moussey or what. It's M-O-U-S-S-Y. But I, I thought I recognized it, so I went into the store. But it's basically just like a, an oversized um, polo with like a stretchy cinched waist which I remember finding a bunch of these on Etsy and wanting to buy them and then they all sold out. So when I saw this, I was like, I definitely want that. I loved the black with the like kind of tan collar. It looks like very um, golfing dad, but then with the cinched waist, I thought it was really cool. This was 5,450 yen. This brand was a little bit more expensive, I think. 
Um, but I was rushing. It was the last one that I was at, the last store. And then we had to go because we went to this overlook in um, Tokyo. I did all of this shopping in Tokyo, in Shibuya. Uh, we were going to this overlook. We were meeting up with people. And so I was just kind of like grabbing stuff, trying it on really fast. And then I was like, I'll just take all of these. Um, but I do love this. I love like the fabric feels very vintagey and comfy to me. Um, it's like kind of a fun, like casual, casual top. But yeah, that place only had one size and like basically everything. They had more jean sizes. Um, but I tried on a pair of jeans there. I tried on the largest pair of jeans and it wasn't happening. So I moved on. I like, I let go of that dream. I had already gotten the in genie jeans. So I was like, I've got one pair of jeans. It's fine. Then, uh, I wanted some oversized tees. We went to a thrift store, but I just couldn't make it happen. Uh, we only had time to go to one thrift store and then we had to head out to, um, the airport, get ready to go to the airport. So, uh, also from mousy slash moosey, not entirely sure. I just got this because I liked the fabric. It just says, won't be sorry. Just an oversized black tee, pretty simple. On the back, it says mousy cup noodle. <laughs> and it came with a cup of noodles. But I think we gave those to our friends, one of our friends. I don't think that I have them anymore, but it was just like a little gift that came with the purchase, which was kind of cute. So I think it was like a collab with um, cup of noodle, but yeah, just a basic, basic black tee. That's like my kind of my go-to with like, um, s like um, the 30 years, biker shorts and like an oversized tee. When it's hot, that's what I wear in the summer. Cause like, I can't be bothered, you know? And then finally I got the, oh, I should probably button it up. Cause you can't even see what it is. This is the last thing that I got this dress again from Moosey. I don't know. Uh, just pretty, I don't know. It's kind of strange, you know, it's like a little um, puffy. It has this like cutout thing over here by the waist and then like a tie. So you can kind of like open it up and tighten it depending on like how you want it to fit. It's button up, it's very lightweight. Everything there was very lightweight because it's very humid in Japan. Um, we had really nice weather. It, it only rained like one day, I think. And maybe there was like a little sprinkling another day, uh, but it was very, very comfy. But yeah, all of the clothing there, I feel like is really, really lightweight and perfect for summer. That was another thing. Another objective was just getting like some cute things for summer and I'm not really a dress person, but everyone's dresses there were so cute. It kind of like just, I don't know, influenced me. So I picked this up. This one was kind of expensive comparatively. It was um, 9,500 yen. Yeah, I don't know. Once again, I think there was only one size. Maybe there were two sizes and I think I got the larger one. And yeah, there was <laughs> two sizes, one and two. And I was like, I'll take two. But yeah, I don't know. I thought it was cute. It's comfy, you know, whatever. Summer, summer get together or whatever. I got to force myself to wear it, you know? Okay, so that's it for clothing. I also picked up um, some sunscreens. So I got this one, which is, how do I say this? Sec, Sekisei, Sekisei maybe? Blue guy, it's available on, um, on Yes Style, I think I saw it. It's made in Japan, so it is a Japanese sunscreen and it's uh, very water resistant. I don't know if it's supposed to be waterproof or water resistant or what, but like it does the job. It looks real oily when you first put it on. I think usually like water resistant sunscreens do, but then that goes away and it's pretty amazing. I will say the Japanese sunscreens, I know everybody talks about like Japanese and Korean sunscreens and how the filters are very different. And they don't sting your eyes. If this gets in my eyes, it does sting my eyes. That being said, if I'm careful with my application, once again, because it is a water resistant sunscreen, it kind of sets and then it doesn't really move. So I haven't really had that problem the only problem is if I like touch my face and then I like wipe my eye and it gets in there. And I will say that the sting is more of like kind of a menthol-y like annoyance versus like a horrible stinging, can't open my eyes, need to wash it out immediately, if that makes sense. Like it's, it's reasonable. It's not gonna kill me if I'm like, you know, if I drove to the store and all of a sudden it starts happening, I'll be able to drive back and be fine. So I kind of feel like this is my new favorite sunscreen. I also picked up this one, Uriage, I don't know. Uriage au thermal, barrier, barrier skin. Oh yeah, 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 it's all, it's all in French in the front, but um, Japan, Japanese on the back. Uh, but this was just like a random, I was in the airport, we were leaving, I was in a duty-free shop, like getting gifts. And I was like, I should just like get another sunscreen. So I picked it up. So I guess it's a French brand, but I got this while I was there. And um, it's pretty good. I tried it on a few days ago. Uh, pretty similar, water resistant. Looks a little white when it comes out. Doesn't really leave a white, maybe it leaves like the tiniest bit of a white cast. I don't know, I don't know enough about it. 
you know, obviously because it's all in Japanese. So I haven't looked it up yet, but um, but this one's really good too. Sim same situation, if I got a teeny bit of my eye, then it's irritating, but like not really. And then you guys, um, what else did I get? I got a bunch of gifts. I picked up, um, I don't know if you guys know the, the chocolate candies, Choco Boys, which are like, they look like little mushrooms. The mushroom top is um, chocolate and then the bottom is, or like the stem is cookie. I got a bunch of that for like gifts for people cause they're addictive. Uh, yes, I started eating sugar again while I was there. Those Japanese candies got me, dude. What else? I got my boyfriend and I just some like really pretty chopsticks as like souvenirs, basically. That's not super exciting, but like we love sushi. So for when we order sushi, I got a bunch of random gifts. And then I also, I got a bunch of makeup. I walked into a Japanese um, drugstore, I guess, that just had a bunch of like skincare and makeup. And I was just walking around like, I'll take this, I'll take this. I was in a rush. So um, yeah, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. So if, you want to see a tutorial with all of this stuff, and I think I know the answer. Uh, let me know, and I will film it. So that's it, you guys. Um, I had an amazing time in Japan. I was so sad to leave. I can't wait to go back. The jet lag killed me, but I think the next time I go, I'll be prepare prepared for it. The way that our trip went was we literally landed the day before our friend's wedding, so I was di I was dying. Like I was dying, you know like end of the wedding, I was like, I'm gonna die. Yeah, jet lag is a lot, but the food, we had this, I've never been big on ramen. We went to a ramen place that my boyfriend's friend recommended and it was my favorite meal of the whole trip. Like damn. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you're probably gonna be seeing some of the stuff popping around. If anyone has the opportunity to go to Japan, I highly recommend it. We came across so many people who didn't speak any English, but like were so willing to work with us and try and figure out like, you know, I'm sure they have a lot of tourists, but it was just such a like wonderful trip overall. Um, so I highly recommend it. If you've been thinking about going to Japan, just, just give yourself a couple days to get used to the jet lag before you like do anything crazy. You know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all the things. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know if you want to see more like clothing things. Honestly, that trip kind of made me want to rethink my entire closet because I hate all my clothes right now. So I've made some purchases. So if you want to see any more clothing hauls, let me know. I can do this setup, I guess. Yeah, that's it. I'm starving and I have not had enough water today. So I'm gonna go. But this has been, it's been good, so. Yeah, nice talk. Not nice. Uh, nice chatting with you. <laughs> I'll see you soon.